Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make a gathered sample. I have my two pieces again. However, I'm only gonna have one piece for now. What I'm gonna do is I have one piece and I'm going to turn my stitch length to a four. I am going to line the edge of my fabric up with that five eighths again. I'm going to lower my presser foot I'm going to rotate my wheel down to make sure it's in the fabric. And I am not going to back stitch because this is called a gather stitch. So I'm not gonna back stitch because this is called a gather stitch. So I am just going to go straight until the end. Then I'm going to lift my threads up. I want to um, cut really long threads on this. So I'm going to trim my threads. I have long threads on both sides. I am going to take this piece now and I am going to pin this one end to the piece I did not sew. Pin it together. Now that I have it pinned together, I'm gonna to take my two threads and I'm going to wrap them around my needle or my pin. So I am going to take my two threads and wrap them figure eight style around my pins. Try and figure out how to do this so that you can see what I'm doing without seeing my hand. Wrap it around figure eight style until I'm out of threads. Okay, so you have the short end here, not the long end, and you have some sticking out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two ends and I'm gonna take the back thread and I am going to pull it. to get this look. I am going to keep pulling it. And I, I how I move the gathers is by fanning them. I'm gonna fan them with my finger and pull and fan them with my finger until this is the same length. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this together, it's not completely flat. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that. So that way I can make it the same length because it's a little big, there's a gap. So I'm gonna lay this flat and I'm gonna keep pulling this back thread until it's flat. And then I'm gonna fan the gathers, fan the gathers until they're completely even. So there's still a little bubble here, so it's not completely flat. So I'm gonna keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling and fanning until it's completely flat. Now I'm holding this back thread so it doesn't become loose. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of these threads together and figure eight them again. Around the pen. We have a nice musical going on while we're trying to learn to sew. I'm gonna figure eight them. These are a little long, so I'm not gonna figure eight them till they're gone. I'm just gonna trim off the rest of this. But the reason you figure eight is because you don't want your threads to pull out as you're sewing. 
so you want to keep that figure eight so these are a little uneven this one is more bunchy than this one here so i'm going to fan these out the best that i can also it allows when you're fan the fanning out process for it to um not fall out so i have the two ends pinned now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pin lining these two edges up my gathers down so I just pin in the middle of a gather. I pin it down. So I have it pinned down. This is your gathered stitch. You're not done yet. We are going to sew this down now. If for whatever reason, when you're pulling, when it breaks, you're gonna have to pull it all out and start over. Just a little side note. Okay, so I am now going to line up my edge again with the five eighths. I'm gonna put my presser foot on the very end. I'm going to lower my, um, my foot and I'm going to hold this um, gather in place and use this hand as a little bit of a steering. I am gonna take two stitches forward and take two stitches backwards. And then I'm gonna keep gently going over, this time I'm going over the pins just so that my gathers stay in place. But you wanna make sure that you are going really slow and you're not running over your pins. So I have the head of my pin right here on the edge of the presser foot. Now if the head of my pin was in line with here, I would be in trouble. So you wanna make sure that you your pin, of, head of your pin is out of the presser foot. If there's any way that it's gonna go, your presser foot's gonna go over the head of the pin, that's when you need to take it out for this specific um, sewing technique. Now, once I am done and I've gone backwards, I'm going to lift my presser foot, rotate my wheel and pull my threads out and cut it. Okay, now I'm gonna take all of my pins out. I also, since I have all of these big bunches of thread, I'm going to pull them. They may not all pull out, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my handy dandy scissors and I'm going to trim them off. Make sure that you don't accidentally cut yourself or cut your muslin fabric. You just wanna cut those excess threads. Cutting them all short. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this open with my fingers real quick. And I see that this stitch is showing. That is okay, that's my gathering stitch, but I don't want it to show, it's showing in a few places. That means that my gathers weren't completely, um, weren't completely as even as they should have been. I can see that I have more gathers here. This is a little bit flatter, but for the sake of the sample, I did the, I did the main purpose. So I'm not gonna be super picky about it. So I am going to go in and I'm gonna take my seam ripper and I'm gonna uh, knit, uh, cut a thread on one end and cut a thread on another. And then I'm gonna go in the middle and I'm gonna pull that out. So this, that was really easy. It should be pretty simple. And then you can go in and pull out the back one and cut it as well. Make sure that you don't accidentally cut your thread that you are stitching on, cause then you would have to redo it and you might have a hole. So I have that piece out. I want to make sure that I am picking out this thread as well. I can see that thread. So I want to make sure that any thread that you see you get out. The reason for this is because like, let's say you're making a skirt and you're using this technique, you are going to be able to see those little pesky um, stitches and that's not very fun. So you can also pull out this whole stitch if you want, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and do. And I know what stitch it is, so I'm just gently taking my seam ripper to that stitch and pulling it out. And then I'm gonna just pull it from the end and then it 
it just pulled all the way out because it doesn't have a knot, so it shouldn't stay in your fabric. Um, if you accidentally do a back stitch, that's gonna knot it in there and make it really hard to come out. So make sure that you don't do your back stitch and you'll have a really, really easy thread to come out. Now I'm gonna go press this and pinking shear and we will be able to put it in our notebook. Okay, so the way that I'm going to press this is going to be flat. So I have this big piece here that's long that we're actually gonna eventually cut off. Okay. So I have this here. I have my, um, my gather stitch here that I'm going to, that's a little misshapen, but it's okay. I'm going to press. So we're pressing this a little bit different than the other one. We're gonna press it completely flat against the side. You still are pressing it because it locks your threads in place and it allows for a much fresher look of your pleats. So I'm pressing it on that stitch and I'm also going to iron the top part of my fabric because it's a little wrinkly. Okay, so then I have my pressed um, gathers. You can see how I didn't gather this exactly um, flat, which is hard to do with a small piece, but when you have bigger pieces, it's easier to make sure that they're even. You can see that this one's really bunched and this one's flatter. And the goal is to make them all look the same, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna get my pinking shears back out. I actually am going to cut this big piece in half so I don't have that really long piece sticking out. So it kind of looks like a miniature skirt a little bit. And now I'm gonna cut up the sides. Please make sure that you do your back stitch so that you, when you're cutting this, your threads don't come apart. That's why you do your back stitch is so that your threads here don't come loose when you're cutting it. Or if you have this for a very long time, um, eventually threads will just come loose if you don't do your back stitch. So I'm gonna cut the bottom of my miniature looking skirt here. And then I'm gonna cut this other side. And then what I do is I'm gonna take my piece of fabric and, or my fabric and put it in my notebook. There you go.